Seam expert here, Amy Hunt. What I want to show you in this video today is how to remove the background in any photos. Perhaps you're trying to sell it online and you like to take products and take a picture and remove them. For instance, taking this bad picture on the left and making it Amazon quality on the right. Thanks for watching and if you want to learn more about this, subscribe and enable notifications. We'll see you in the rest of the video where I teach you how to remove backgrounds. So in the world of drop shipping and, and or selling your own products from home, whatever the case may be, you really need to up your game in whatever your pictures you're taking. We're going to take a little look at eBay and then we're going to take a little look at Amazon and I'm going to show you some of the things that people look for and what's good and what's bad about a picture and how you can fix whatever your problems are that you're having where whatever site, whatever selling platform is not accepting your picture. So let's just take a look here. It didn't used to always be this clean with pictures. Now, one thing I've found that some people recognize now is that there's so many people online selling that they are actually stores or they're actually manufacturers. Like, let's just look at these pictures and be analytical. Which ones are appealing to you? Okay. In my mind and what I've learned over time is people will actually look for something like this because they think they're going to get a better deal because they think somebody is selling it from their home and maybe they're not going to get as much money because or have to pay as much money because this guy just wants to sell it from their house. Now, what could make this picture better? And you can see the other ones. Look at what's professional. Look what's doing, being done well. So let's just take this one for example. I'm going to click on it and you can analyze similar products to see what kind of pictures are selling. If you go up here to the advanced button and you go to completed listings, you're going to see listings that is sold. Now I probably should have taken, yeah, let's go back. I'm going to take the title of this men's basic leather white Nike Cortez. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post it as my title in my keyword search. And check out the link below for another video if I haven't gotten it yet on how to make a good SEO description for something you're selling. So now you see the items that are selling. So this guy has several uh, different items. Now, how do you know if they're selling you know, which ones are selling for the most, you go up here and you click advanced up in the top right corner. And then down here, you click on this, it says completed listings, click on that and then click the button search above it. And so what it's going to do is in green is what it's sold for. So this one got striked green, which means that guy accepted a best offer. So he didn't get the $24.99. Here is, and again, it's supply and demand and the pictures may have a, a deal. Okay, so this is a pretty bad picture. It didn't get much uh, payment for that. Uh, but you can see usually like a professional looking picture is gonna be going for more. Depending whether or not, again, if it's supply and demand. Here's a bad picture, didn't even sell. So the items in black are ones that did not sell. So. I'm giving you value, like why are pictures important? This one didn't sell, like what the heck's in there? So I'm giving you reason to take into consideration why pictures are important. If you go and, and if at any time you, you're like, yeah, I want to do this. I want to know how to do a course. I do have a course. Uh, I have a website, amyhunt.biz. You can go here. I give you one-on-one -on -one help. That's $60 an hour for a screen share. And I have other packages that are discounted. Or if you go up here, there is a course. This will update. Um, but I have a course. And you can look in the link in the description below. So let's just check out Amazon. Amazon, if you have never sold there, maybe you do, but you just don't know how to do the pictures, is very particular about what's accepted as a picture. They request, and it's not always true, but it's, they request a white background. And that's why, or very, it's, they, lately they accept plain, decent backgrounds, but usually they request it. And 
that is accept, accepted sometimes. Like I've gotten products where I put them on there with a background and they don't accept them. So they say, please put a white background. So that's why you see the clean, cleanliness of a lot of, and this is just like categories, pictures of actual products. So now um, let me help you answer your question. Well, how do I get that white? I don't want to pay a whole bunch of money. Uh, there are actually free features and free different uh, websites that you can use. I have used Canva for years. Prior to this year, they didn't offer a background eraser. Now they do. So how does Canva work? I'm just going to go to all my designs. You can see my back office. These are where I make my thumbnails. So you can make your thumbnails here. You can make your product pictures here. So let's just say you want to make a design. eBay just told you they're not going to accept your picture because it's not the 500 by 500 picture that you want. So if you look through here, you have all sorts of pre-templated options to make YouTube video ads, um, thumbnails. So I use that one. Whatever your case may be, Instagram, you don't see eBay on here. So what you want to do to make an eBay picture is customize the size 100 by, whoops, 500 by 500. So create new design. Now I'm just going to use something I have in my upload of pictures. Uh, let me teach you how to find a product online that maybe you're going to sell. So let's just say you want to sell those Nike Cortez sneakers. You type it in here and then your Google search and then you go to this tab right here called images. And you find one that's similar, right? So let's just say this is the sneaker and it has a background, right? So you right click on that. You save the image as, again, this is all stuff I teach in my course. So if you're interested in my course, uh, look in the description below. And I'm gonna just type in Nike under pictures. So I'm gonna save it. And then you have to go back to Canva and click upload and then upload media. Remember where you saved it? I saved it in pictures and I called it Nike. So let's just find it right there and upload it. So this is how you can get any product offline to make it your product, save it, and push it into whatever selling platform you need. So you can drag it over here and expand it. You don't have to do that. Sometimes you can just double click it, make it fit there. Now there's this thing up here called effects. Again, there's a free version of Canva. I have the professional version, but the professional version gives you all this. And Again, I mean, it's some cool stuff if you want to just mess around with it. Okay, so what, what you want to do is come up here to the effects tab, the top, click effects, and it has background remover. And this is what a lot of software's websites like. So there you go. It takes away the background. Then all you need to do is go over here to download. And usually you want to download as a ping, okay? It has the highest quality. A JPEG would be something that you would want to send in the email. But for product searching, you want a PNG. And you can click transparent background. It downloads it into a file. I'll just click download and it lets you, it prepares it and then it lets you pick where you want to download it to. So that is how to make a really good picture for selling whatever products you want to sell online by taking those pictures from a source online you can also do this using your camera by uploading your own pictures. I'll go back here to my uploads and I'll just show you some pictures I took. If I you go over here to all your designs, these are some product pictures. And this is the final pop product. It looks a little blurry because it's still loading in. Okay, so that's the final product that it brought out after using some en enhancements. But you can see over here on the left side what, let me scroll way down, and what these pictures used to look like. See? So you can have a mediocre camera, decent camera, and this is what it can turn into with Canva. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.